Hello everyone. This is Ram Gibson. Ram Solat Gibson gardening. Gardening because I am doing gardening all the time. <laughs> and Ram Gibson channel. Um, that's my channel. Um, t today I want to do some potting and then I already pre arranged the pot. And uh, I just wanted to show you the mixture. The subject today is to plant you vegetable with flower. So that is the subject. Uh, before I go any further, I would like to say, uh, uh, Thailand. Uh, when you lamb the book, dog my like a book pack, make a tang deal gun. อ่าแล้วก็ผักก็มาตัดกินได้ดอกไม้ก็จะบานขึ้นอ่าจะเป็นปนกันแล้วก็จะดูสวยดอกไม้กับผักนะคะในกระถางโอเค <laughs> okay, I have to go back to English Okay now I'm going to I'm going to start with uh I had the banana here that I have in the pot for for every year in Georgia, banana is a uh, beautiful leaf in the summer, but in the winter, the trunk will die out. So they're never going to be able to grow fruit. Because for banana trunk to grow fruit, they need to have a big trunk like this. Going up, and then it had to be within the second or the third year to have the trunk like that without dying from the freeze. Then the beginning to develop the the flower and then the banana, but some sometimes I see some people garden. They have big tall banana. They protect the well good outdoors. They do have banana. As a matter of fact, my neighbor had that. So, but for me, I hadn't had that luck. So today I'm gonna plant this baby in in the pot. Uh, I'm not talking about um, the potting making anything like that or arranging the pot because I had. You can go back to the the video that I have that I show you how to arrange your own party mix and also how to lay up the plant. So, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant the banana in the pot. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit about the pot. I'm going to talk about only this one and the rest. Uh, I don't need to have all the beautiful terracotta pot or expensive pot because when the flower come out, they're going to kind of cover it anyway. But if you have, you know, you, you bought your, all the pot that you see, I've been collecting for years and I buy them, they were super on sale. So some, sometime I bought a plastic pot and I mix them in and then when the flower bloom, you can't even tell there was a plastic or what the terracotta or what or what. And this part right here, uh, believe it or not, I have it nearly 20 years. Because it's a compositor. So if you can find the part like that, um, if you have that, it's going to last you for a long time. And this one has been in my garden for at least 20 years. So okay, enough about pot. So I'm going to get this banana into that pot there you go so it big pot so I'm gonna dig it up from here and scoop it up here I'm gonna put it here then I'm going to add, because, you know, we all have this in the garden. Sometimes you have a uh, plant that will sit in a pot for so long, and then you don't really know what to do with it. Uh, it, it takes some a little bit of work, but it, it's not that hard. So now I'm going to see, see this banana. It sit outdoor in, in the winter all the time. So the root bulb is pretty, pretty firm, pretty, uh, pretty strong. I already prepared a potting mix 
and put it in here already. So I'm going to need a little bit more good soy. Um, so I'm trying to show it to you that I am doing and it is, it is my video I don't add any uh, what you see it what you see even though you're not seeing the lie but it is lie because I don't take anything out I don't uh, eventually I like to know how to put you know the music and all of that in it but it's a learning process uh, for right now I'm happy to be what I, I can do here and I'm just so thankful that you all supporting us so now this banana by Miss Summer is gonna be like this so now what I want to do is I want to put some flour this uh, um, Katma yellow one so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it here I'm gonna put it here sometimes what I even want to do it uh, that's a yellow one and it's a Cosmo uh, or oh, how you spell a uh, coca coca mix I think here and English is my, my second language uh, sometimes I can't even pronounce the word so but 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 you all know what 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 this is and uh, uh, so I'm gonna put it here to get a, a little bit of better uh, mix I'm gonna put uh, like three or something like that how many to plan or, or uh, how many plan you're gonna put in in one pot entirely it's up to you uh, because what I don't do it you want to do that it's fine but for me I don't want to pack a lot of plant in one pot why because right now they seem to be okay but as they grow they, they when they go big the, the root gonna get big too then they're gonna have a huge competition among each other they're gonna be so packed so so much competition among each other that's number one you have to water it a lot in the summer heat because these things will grow to the summer then uh, I'm planning that right now then uh, you have to water more often that's, that's another another thing then they won't look that good they won't look that healthy because they're so packed and and sometimes they're so stagnant then you might be having some kind of disease problem because you know um, plant is like us they need comfortable they need uh, they need to be vented they need to be comfortable so we need to feel good and they need to be if I would would I say using that as a metaphor they want to be comfortable too <laughs> so I'm gonna run with that so uh, so because of that I don't pack them I don't make them uh, have too much competition so now I plan a tall one on the front so now I'm gonna come around I'm gonna try to do as many as I can but I don't know how many I, I can uh, do so now I'm gonna move this move this so you already see that so now what I do this one is a beautiful, beautiful plant uh, it's called uh, but you know you go find whatever you love this one it 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 call um yeah yeah you 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 pronounce that <laughs> so uh that, that that's the name of the plant 
um, I liked it a lot because uh, in summer this thing gonna grow about the tall and then have this kind of belgy looking little flower. I mean, but love this. So because of that, when I plant, I don't, I don't choose what color go what. I just plant them together. I like that. So so now you begin to see that happen. Now because it's a tall part, I want to plant something that will run it off. Nasturgeon. So nasturgeon, you can get an all wiring of color, and uh, this is a fun part, by the way. Then uh, I, I would put in a sturgeon right here. And uh, there's another sturgeon, one go there. Then uh, a sturgeon, kind of like cool temperature, but if you have it in the summer, you have area that kind of broadcast and keep the temperature shady and kind of cool throughout the year. You can grow in a sturgeon throughout the summer until fall too. But if you put them in the full sun, certain type of nasturgeon won't do well because it's too hot for them. So, there, this one. That's all I'm gonna do for this one. Then I'm gonna focus on the vegetable. Uh, think they can, it's gonna be a lot of moving. Because I just want you to see how that go. I may not be able to finish those two parts, but uh, 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 the two parts I prepare, I put the landscape pattern on the bottom already. So, uh, so now I'm going to put a little bit of gravel there to kind of build the base and I'm gonna take take it over there there I go I want to show you in real thing and that's what the gardening is uh, But you don't have to do real fast like I do. You uh, can uh, spend some time, have some tea, listen to the music. Whatever your music is, you into classical, have your classical music, and whatever you like. Then you sit down and rest, and then come back and do it, you know, at your... Uh, at your own time and then have fun whatever you're planning so you know I'm trying to create the picture for you that's why I'm working it real fast so uh, if I had planned it that correctly I wouldn't have just finish those part with dirt foods but you know sometimes because we are learning we don't really know <laughs> we just kind of uh, Sometimes we're winging it at a time. But I think we're doing good. And I thank you for giving us the support. And see this thing in real time. So, uh, so you, you see, uh, a lot of times people think gardening is fun and it's fun only. No, it quite work too. <laughs> work is part of the fun. Work is... How did that fun? So I'm gonna take this back. So now this this part right here, I'm gonna put a vegetable. So the two part I wanted to put a vegetable. Sorry. Uh, put the vegetable and put kale and carrots can be grow uh, in, in, in pots and pot so so what I'm gonna do is I have did flatly partially flatly, flatly partially I'm gonna put it in the middle uh, right here 
So, so now it's very, very close to my kitchen. So, uh, uh, Mexican, uh, uh, Mexican te telegon. It call it's it's a telegon Texas. So th this is what the tag is right here. This one, from what I know, you can use this to cook with chicken, fish, uh, pork, uh, something like that. You you know the flat leaf parsley. You you can use the, with with anything. So now what I'm gonna do over there. So I'm gonna use the the beautiful kale. Um uh kale can go here like that. You raise your hand yet? Oh. No? Yeah, no, no. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, you your I forgot. Hand. How many minutes? Sixteen. Six. Uh, Sixteen. Okay. Now, that we're gonna go there, and then I have romaine, romaine lettuce. Romaine lettuce. Woo. Romaine. Romaine also like pat san pache too. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna put it here because when those, this is gonna be the first one that you would cut for your salad. So you know I'm gonna put it here. This they look like kind of kind of welding, but uh, you you see this thing in real life here within within a week. Uh, they're gonna pick up. So when that happened, I'll bring the camera by and then I'll, I'll show it to you that they had put up. So, you know, I'm trying to do not lie, but it is lie. And I try to show it to you thing that in real life, thing that happening at you doing it. So, um, so in other words, I'm, 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 I'm showing you the real thing, not, not the fantasy. So, um, so here I am, I got that right here. So now this, this part is done. You see, I don't put so many in there. So within a week, this is going to poke that up and it's going to be kind of green. It's gonna, uh, I'll bring the camera back and show, show it to you. Okay, now, um, uh, for this one, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mimic that, grow kind of thing, kind of the same thing. So I'm gonna put this uh, flat leaf, that the flat leaf, and this a curly leaf. So I'm gonna do kind of right here. Uh, and then what what I'm gonna do is um, try to figure it out as I go. Uh, 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 like this. So, looking at these, so while you're doing that, you think about, hmm, what else do I need? You kind of, you kind of work and then kind of think at the same time. So what, what I'm thinking right now, this grad is not yet filled up. So I'm going to put a little bit here. I'm going to put a little bit here. Then I'm going to put Hokasma. See, if you arrange something like that, I'm going to put it here. Then to, to make it balanced. To make it balanced, I'm going to go ahead and spend some time planting these. If you do this, remember uh, when grad come out, you can get prune off the grad and let it kind of grow together. You you can do that, or by that time this this maybe die out, so the grad will take it over for the summer. 
Uh, so you have a transition of thing that growing all the time and changing all the time within my God is like that. So so now it it like that. So I'm looking at it again. I said maybe I need something over there. I need something over there. So what I'm gonna do is we just to have fun. Have active fun. Active fun. And again see when they grow in the nursery this been set and then the root is so tight see if you put it in the the main point of it is if you put it in the dirt without tying this the plant said wrapping around and around they say they only grew enough so they're not gonna expand but when you do this the root said I need to grow bigger because the root is not growing. So they kind of try to fix themselves by getting bigger. So I'm going to put it right here. Put it right here. So it's, it's still not tight. So what I'm going to do, another one is I'm going to take this. I have no right or wrong reason. I just did them. See? Did this. Did that. Did that. Open this. But don't cut it this way. Like this. So now this plant is it. Oh, I'm not done growing yet. So it's going to grow a little bit more. So um, understanding plant, you're going to know how to treat it. So I'm going to fill it up uh, right here. Then, you know, when I'm done with it, I, I would mulch it. I, I would uh, mulch it and, and then make it look real nice. So this one is Mission Accomplice. So um, then, uh, uh, how many minutes, Cody? 22. 22. Okay, I think... Here, you see yellow. I'm gonna put some yellow here. You see yellow. Then what I'm gonna do to carry the seam of the color, like I said, they pick each other up. To connection, I'm going back to the uh, the, the the senses of what make you feel uh, feel good. So another word, all picture, you connect them with one canvas at a time. So I talk about the painting and all that. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it'll make sense if you see one frame at a time. Then the frame, when I done with it, all of this, what you see, a ring. It's gonna come together, it's gonna have so go. I still have a long way to go to get that. Then what I always thinking in my mind that when you enter any place in my garden, sorry I carry this. It gives you like you enter the painting. So that's why I arrange the group there and the group there behind Cody, the arrange here and the group here, and then the group here and the group here, and then you have the circle. If you were to put like a, a picnic table or, or you want to serve something, you have a beautiful clean table, set it here. So when you guests come over, when they walk into this circle, they are into to your imagination, your painting. So that's what I've been trying to do. It called it in the art term, it called third dimension painting. Lie third dimension painting. 
that's what I call. But we're not using that too much in the term of landscape. But landscape, it doesn't matter what's in the landscape. It always involves art. One time I heard somebody said, um, the creation, it does not came from the thin air. Because it meant so much for me. I understood a lot when people, that person said that. It had been developed and began somewhere. Like Van Gogh, Picasso, um, Michelangelo, I have to name that because I had to learn those when I took fire art. Had created something fabulous in art that you can go see. At the moment you see that, whether you understand or not, but your internal sensation going back to the sixth end, capture that. Then later on in life, maybe in that life of yours, you may never feel that. But in some time, if you're going to be doing something like that, you'll be looking at something and all suddenly came to you. So that means that information that you had stored in that time have arrived. <laughs> I say that because it worked that way for me. It worked that way for me and from the bottom of my heart, I really like to share that because it worked that way for me. And that's why when I do these things, I want to do them in real time. So you can see, they don't come from the thin air, they begin somewhere. Okay, I'm going to go back and I finish it out. So, uh, kind of finish it out. I don't have time to do the whole thing. Uh, this is going to go here. With the Japanese maple and... This is going to go here. I hope I, uh, you know, I mean, so, uh, the, the subject I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, uh, the third dimensional painting. I'm talking about uh, the, uh, the real life painting. This, this is the kind, kind of what you see in the real life painting. And uh, in your garden, in every corner in your garden, you may not think in the art the term, but they all art. They all art. All art. So, uh, and then you have experienced it somewhere, sometime in your life, and then, and then it come to life for you when you call on it, you know. So, seem like that's all the time I have today. Um, before I go any further, I like to kind of straighten it up just a little bit. I know part of straighten up, it should be in the picture, but like I said, this is lie. It's a lie. So, uh, so uh, I'll come back and finish it up later. It's a lie. Uh, I'm so happy to be spending some time with you today, and I have a chance to share what I learned when I went to take fire art class, and then because it had such a value for me, and I, I'm gonna continue to share, and. Uh, uh, this is the part that I had it for so many years, you see it all broken, but, uh, but I love it. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to come back and put, put this in it, like this. Then in this, I'm going to put a violet in it. So this is going to be like this. So um, what I have left here, I'm going to go around and finish the whole circle with this. So when I'm done, this corner is going to be like a complexion, a painting, and then you're going to enter here. You're going to walk into inside the painting. Uh, that's what uh, I would like to present to you today. Okay, now another thing before I go talking about cheap exotic stuff. This is a little bit of a subject, but I give you this as a bonus. This, it came from the shallots, the onion that you would buy in, in a grocery store. 
look, look around, you know. I mean, you may not understand what I'm saying, but it is a message. It needs to start somewhere. If you have iron that you bought and then you didn't use, I'm pretty sure if almost every single one of you will run to an iron that grow green, that you have to sit in your kitchen for so long, and then have green shooting up and you think it was rotten, you throw it away. Don't throw it away. Take it outside and plant it. Okay? This is the onion, the chalak, it's called chalak. I put it here last year, and I gone to the, it, 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 and then you say, well, it, it takes so long. But I just put in the pot, I didn't do anything. I put in the pot and I just left whatever the plant I had there. And then this year, look at that, look at what it become. It's fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy looking. Look at that, how beautiful. And it looks so exotic and it's a great texture. You don't have to invite something you're going to throw it away anyway. So if you want to have fun, take it outside and show your kid. If you have children, you know, say, plant it here and see, see what happens to, to the next when when that can, can, gonna grow or not to grow. If it didn't grow, you learn something. You know, if it grow, you get something. You know, for me, that's the way I got, I got in. I never look at what I do as failure. Even I do, I didn't succeed, but I did it. So that in itself, I won. I did not fail, I did. So, you know, um, that's just something important I want to share. And I never look at a garden and not look good. All the time for me, God look good. I never not think it's look good. Because you see the point in a natural way, Again, you know what makes you feel good? You're going to see seeing the beautiful all the time. Okay, I tell you what, today, thank you for listening to, I'm um, talking to you, talk, 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 talk. Uh, but uh, I'm so happy that I can share with you. And then uh, um, w what I want is to do something that works for me. You look around my garden, you know, I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk around w with the camera and I'll show you how the garden looking again down here. So they're not high maintenance, they're, they're pretty low maintenance because I want them to accept uh, Mother Nature, natural, and uh, you know, and then to help them to grow well. And, and, and that's what I do. And uh, they're beautiful all the time, no matter what season it is. So this vegetable is going to pick it up and I probably I will bring the camera back and then show, show it to you. Okay, today that's all I can do. Today, that's all I can do. So, I'm gonna say thank you for um, spending the time with us. And uh, as done earlier, I really appreciate that you stopped by my house and you tell me about the garden and all those things. And I really appreciate it. If you watch the program, I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, the, the neighbor in Aston, Georgia. And then a anywhere in the world, if you watch it, I appreciate it. We, we all learn from each other, I learn from you all the time. If you comment, I learn, I learn a lot, I learn all the time. I'm open to learn all the time. And then, um, and I love to share. And uh, for Thai people, for many person in Thailand, I would say again and again, thank you and welcome to the garden anytime that you can come uh, in your spirit, I know we fall away, we 10,000 miles away, <laughs> but came here in the spirit. You're welcome anytime. And thank you very much. Sawadee